installation of large size radial shaft seals of the 7 tomatic and Merkel radiomatic R35 to R58 series. Radial shaft seals are used in a variety of applications. Rings above 1,000 mm in diameter perform, for example, in steel mill stands, or they seal ship propulsions. Wind turbines already use seals up to 4,000 mm in diameter. This installation video shows the basic handling of such large size seals and their installation using the example of typical applications. Preparation Before starting with the installation, some preparatory tasks and inspections are mandatory. Bring seals that have been stored at minus temperatures into a warmer place in good time before unpacking. Open the lid of the packaging and allow the seal ring to warm up to above 0 degrees Celsius. Carefully clean the housing with a dry, lint-free cloth. Remove any remaining lubricant. Inspect all edges of the housing and the lead-in chamfers. They must be rounded and burr-free. The final preparatory task focuses on the seal. Very large seal rings are wrapped in film to protect the sealing lip during transport. Also, large rings are loosely folded into a smaller ring to fit into the packaging. Carefully unfold the ring and spread out horizontally on a large table. When doing this, handle the ring gently and avoid the use of force. If available, take the enclosed garter spring and the installation instructions out of the box as well. Unwrap the protective film and avoid unnecessary bending of the seal during this work. Never use a cutter knife. For a dimensional check, if scheduled, let the ring rest on the table for at least one hour after unfolding and unpacking. As a rule, all types of radial shaft seals must be checked for possible damage during transit prior to installation. Sealing edge and sealing lip must be undamaged along the entire circumference. Be careful while doing this work. Avoid unnecessary bending and twisting of the ring. This applies in particular to the region of the joint of a precision jointed shaft seal. A joint is precision made with a view to its function and must withstand only low lateral forces once the ring is installed. Manual bending or twisting of the ring prior to installation causes unnecessary stress peaks and related damage of the material can occur in all areas of the ring. In the case of the radial shaft seals larger than 800 millimeters with garter spring at the sealing lip, the spring is enclosed separately. The spring must be inserted into the groove at the sealing lip prior to installation. First, check the spring lock. If it is loose or completely open, wind both ends of the spring half turn counterclockwise. Then, insert both ends into each other and untwist until the ends are locked. Before inserting the spring, lightly brush the spring groove with assembly grease or operating medium. In order to insert the garter spring into the spring groove of a seal larger than 1,500 millimeters, it is recommended to work with one or more helpers. Working with helping hands is also recommended for later installation of the seal into the housing. For the further handling of very large shaft seals, it can be helpful to fix the inserted garter spring using strips of fabric, or preferably mounting straps. Wind the strips around the seal at several places along the circumference and tie the ends of each strip into a knot. Place the knot on the side which faces away from the spring. This is a kind of transport lock which is removed by pulling at the strips after the seal has reached its final position in the housing. If an open seal is installed on site by using a bonding set, insert the garter spring into the groove after the ring is fitted and joined around the shaft. In this case, no further transport lock is needed. As soon as the seal is placed in the housing and the shaft or bushing is installed, the geometry of the preloaded sealing lip ensures that the garter spring is securely held in place. Good to know for a successful installation. The installation of shaft seals is possible either with or without previously installed shaft or bushing. Sparingly grease the shaft or bushing with some operating medium or assembly grease to ease installation. Before installation, 
Make sure that the shaft seal is correctly aligned as shown in the drawing. Shaft seals have a so-called closed and open side. Radial shaft seals are generally supplied with excess circumference. Therefore, the following installation steps must be followed exactly so that the seal ring can be installed and correctly positioned in the housing. Attention! When trying to install the ring, starting at only one place in the housing, the excess length of the ring will form one large, final loop that cannot be pressed into its final position anymore without getting damaged. Installation of the seal. Insert a short segment of the ring into the housing first. If the seal features a joint, take this part of the ring first and preferably move this section to its final 12 o'clock position. Then, partly insert a small section of the ring at 6 o'clock position. In the case of large diameters, proceed with the 3 and 9 o'clock positions. This automatically results in even remaining loops of the ring. When installing large size rings vertically, work with helping hands. Make sure that the ring stays round and avoid deformation of the circular shape. Then, press the entire ring, including the protruding loops, evenly and carefully with your fingers or the ball of your hand into the final position in the housing. Pay attention to a flat positioning of the ring at the bottom of the housing. If the shaft or bushing is mounted after the seal has been fitted, make sure that the bushing or shaft has a sufficient lead in chamfer and is greased. Otherwise, opposing sealing lips can collapse when pushed on and lead to malfunction. The ideal angle of the lead in chamfer is 20 degrees. A larger diameter leads to a longer axial length. Finally, mount the housing cover. The cover must be sufficiently dimensioned and must have a sufficient number of suitably sized screws. The aim is to apply an even load onto the seal. It is this axial compression which provides non-self-retaining seals with their static tightness in the housing. Pay attention to a sufficient tightening torque according to the specifications of the selected screws. Freudenberg. Innovating together.